What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. It is Wednesday. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. There were some good sales over the weekend and over the last week for me. I hope for you guys as well. This is usually a really exciting time of the year for resellers. I had some pretty big sales. Wasn't quite as big as the week before, but I also didn't have a $600 sale. <laughs> so I think when you take that into account, it was pretty dang good. Like I said, I really hope you guys did as well. Let's get into what's sold. There's some pretty cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. Up first is a Super Nintendo. It's kind of like a fighting controller, a fighter controller for the Super Nintendo. Found this at a thrift store, just kind of randomly hanging up on one of the racks. Who knows with this stuff? I don't know why I would ever find Super Nintendo stuff like kind of randomly like that, but I sure did. And I bought it and I sold it. I thought it was going to be worth a little bit more than it was. Um, didn't really know in the store what the actual price was going to be. I knew it would be like $15, $20, something like that. And I think I paid $4.99 for it. So realistically, not a bad little flip for a video game controller. Not a lot of work on this as long as it tests and works. So not bad at all and kind of fun to sell. Item number two this week. A Villaware waffle maker, not one of the more expensive Villawares, uh, but $25 for this one. Uh, normally you can identify the Villawares, they usually have like kind of a striped pattern kind of down the, the, the chassis of the body of these things. This one didn't, but I did see the brand on there, so I picked it up. Again, this one was $4.99, so like easy kind of thing to do. Uh, they do require a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of testing, right? But most of the time I just turn them on, make sure that all of the areas of the irons are actually heating up and then let it cool off. Picture it, list it, done. Uh, since there's no moving parts realistically on this thing, easy to ship as well. Uh, so right, $4.99 to $25, solid little uh, kitchen flip there. <laughs> Item number three this week is a VCR. Um, I've been hitting you guys with a couple of bad flips on VCRs the last couple of weeks, and this is another one, right? I, I was buying VCRs kind of just without regard for a little bit there and um, just was having fun buying. And this was one of those things. And you can see I ended up selling it for $18.74 plus shipping. And I was into this for about $6. I think it was $5.99 at Savers. So really kind of terrible flip, but not losing money at all by any means. Just a little bit more work than you want to put into for this little amount of profit, right? Like I have to, you have to test it, you have to make sure it works gotta wrap it all up put it into a box make sure it ships safely so realistically not what you want to be doing for $13 in profit yeah not, not that great <laughs> but item number four this week this one is a good flip uh, this is a Christmas inflatable this is from Despicable Me uh, Amber found this one uh, during the summer at some point at a tag sale we put it up on the shelf in our storage unit until it was time for Christmas stuff I normally start listing stuff for Christmas like somewhere in October, something like that. And uh, sure enough, it took a few weeks, but it did sell. We did, we picked this up for like $3, you guys, right? So you, it sold for $40. It took a best offer on it. I think I had it priced at 50 and took a best offer. I thought it'd probably be about 40 to $50. So for three bucks, right? Great flip. If you guys aren't buying inflatables, they're definitely something you could get into. Uh, there's all different holidays, right? You can find Thanksgiving ones, Halloween ones, Christmas ones. I've even seen Easter ones out there. There's probably more, but those are, I think, probably the main ones, especially Christmas. There's a ton of this stuff out there. Some places are gonna charge you a little bit more than you think is gonna be worth it, maybe like $20. But I, you guys, I've sold some of this stuff anywhere for up to $150 for one inflatable. It does take a little bit of work, right? You gotta turn it on, make sure it actually inflates, get a picture of it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe even clean it up a little bit. There's going to be dirt on these things a lot of times, especially if there's stakes, the, to, ground stakes to like secure it into the ground, they may be covered in dirt. Uh, so maybe a little bit more work. But usually, like I said, if you can get $50, $75, $100, maybe more for these things, is usually worth it. They're, they're kind of fun to play with too. Item number five, um, a Wii bundle. This I ended up listing eight Wii bundles, you guys, eight of them just in time for Black Friday, basically. <laughs> I started listing them right before the week of Thanksgiving and sold one like right away immediately. I think that was in last week's video. And then this week, there's gonna be three of these bundles, you guys. And I've got another one that I need to ship out. I've got three left. <coughs> They've all sold for $100 plus. Uh, really, this great time of year to sell your, your video game console bundles. I think I had talked about that when I talked about uh, what is a good electronics to sell. And bundling is a great way to get rid of a lot of your, your video games that are kind of not really worth it to sell individually. 
And instead of just selling the system by itself, bundle some of those games in there, bundle some of those extra controllers, which obviously you could part all these things out to and still do even better potentially. But the bundles right now, right, these are great little Christmas gifts for people. You may be able to charge a premium, which that's what I'm doing here. Uh, these, these bundles probably normally in the year aren't gonna be worth $100, but they are right now. So great time of year to put these bundles up. Um, because they're bundles, I'm gonna have prices from all over the place. So I'm kind of trying to cobble them together. This one, I ended up saying I, I paid $39 for, <laughs> right? But that's all the different games that are with it. That's the system, it's the controllers, whatever else I picked up kind of randomly. Most of them I'm not gonna have that high of a price on, uh, but some of the Wii's I ended up paying too much for, right? I made a mistake and bought it for too much, but still $40 into 100, not bad at all. Item number six this week is a Lego kit. This is a Lego Star Wars kit. This was a fun one. Picked up a bunch of Legos. Probably, this, I think it was the same day I got all of the Department 56 stuff, and I'm going to have some of that this week as well. And she was looking for like three, four, five dollars per set. I just bought it all. It was it was all Star Wars. It was missing, a few of these were missing a few pieces, which I ended up did I did it replace those. Uh, this was one of those. I ended up picking up a couple parts for this, making sure it was complete, and then listing it. And it sold within a couple weeks. Um, actually a couple days I think when I sold it just took me a couple weeks to get listed because I needed those parts so right this was this was pretty cool sold for $25 which is what I thought it was worth so e really glad I replaced that part on it all right item number seven another Christmas item this one is pretty dang awesome you guys uh, it was this huge set and why I really liked this is that I picked it up after Christmas last year at a thrift store and it was marked at $19.99 but they had all the Christmas stuff at at least 50% off. It may have even been more percent off. And then on top of that, I had a 20% coupon. So I ended up only paying $8 for this, <laughs> which in my mind is kind of ridiculous considering I, I sold it for $125. I actually sold this one on, on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it sold within a couple of days actually. Uh, so Mr. Christmas, that is a great one to add into your, your repertoire of things to look for for Christmas decorations. Again, they will sell kind of all year long, but they'll really pick up probably between October all the way through November and then somewhat in December, but it starts to fall off since most people have already decorated, right? But you may see it pick back up again slightly right after Christmas. Things may have broken over Christmas. Maybe something didn't get put away or maybe they're like, you know what? I really was hoping to get this. Let's see if anybody's got one for sale. So you may see a little uptick in January as well. Item number eight this week. This one is the sale of the week. Um, Logitech Harmony Remote. You guys have not seen me pick this one up yet. Come back on Saturday. There will be an estate sale where I find this one plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, got a pretty good deal on all this stuff. I bought just a ton of stuff, you guys. And because of that, it's like, well, how much did I actually pay for this? It's, it's hard to really know. I, I kind of allocate by value. So I knew this one was worth about $150. So I took the amount of money that I spent there, allocated it by percent of value across everything. So it ended up coming out to about $18, which is really, right, it's a really weird price for this. Um, sold within a couple of days of me listing it. Just a nice find. I think Amber actually had found this one. So, right, nice to have another pair of eyes looking when you're going to an estate sale. Item number nine, another item that I, I talked about in my like electronics you can sell video, a voice recorder. Uh, this one I picked up randomly on just at a, at, a, at a random garage sale for two bucks and it was for sale for a few months, not, but it doesn't take up a ton of space, right? I think it was like about this big. So easy little flip, $14, something like that for two bucks, always good. And uh, like I said, super easy. Item number 10, uh, I mentioned the Department 56. This is the first one that sold this week. Uh, the Ritz Hotel, I ended up buying 12 of these things a few weeks back for $8 a piece or thereabouts. And they were worth anywhere from $20 all the way up to $100 each. So just really, really had a good time selling these. I got them just at the right time of year too. This one sold for $30. So $8 into $30 from a Department 56, nice flip. Item number 11, another of the Lego sets from that same sale I talked about earlier. This one again was missing a couple pieces. So refurbished it. This was nice because it had the instructions and the box. So a little bit more value, not a ton. The other one sold for 25, this one sold for 31. Uh, but again, super easy flip. And I was into it for like $4. So great flip for, for Lego. Item number 12 this week. 
Uh, this is one of my friend Liz's items. She was helping her parents move out of their house and she basically was like, hey Patrick, what can I, what can I give to you to sell? And I was like, well, all video games, <laughs> right? That's easy. And then we did a bunch of board games and then some toys and well, this was one of them. Uh, so this was a Monty Python uh, from Monty Python and the Holy Grail movie, Taunting Fresh Frenchman. Uh, I thought maybe it would be worth like 60, 70, 80 dollars, something like that. I listed it high at 95 and it actually sold for that amount. Uh, so great thing there, right? I, I was gonna, since it's a commission for Liz, gonna be 40%, right? So 40% to me, 40% to her, and then 20% goes to fees and any kind of shipping and supplies I might have. So thank you, Liz, for this. Item number 13, this one's a fun one as well. I got this at uh, Savers Thrift Store a couple weeks back. I got a, a couple, two packs of um, Transformers and other toys. This was one of them. I just thought this looked interesting. I didn't even bother to look it up in the store. I think it was $3.99, something like that, right? So there was two Transformers in there, so it'd be about two bucks each. And I was like, this this one I knew was the, uh, the Fisher-Price brand, um, kind of rescue bots, I think is what they are. But I was like, it's kind of, it's Optimus Prime, but it was a dinosaur. I was like, this one's cool. Let's just buy this and see what it was. And sure enough, worth like $14 all by itself. The other toy that was in there was another Optimus Prime. He'll probably end up selling for about $10. And again, right time of year to list this stuff. But since the stores are still talking about having supply chain issues, I listed all the toys I could possibly come up with. And hopefully they're all going to sell before Christmas. All right, item number 14. Uh, this one's kind of a weird one, but it's not the weird sale of the week. This is a Videonics title maker. Um, basically, this was part of the, a lot that I picked up on in an online auction, right? It was local pickup kind of auction where I bought a bunch of electronics for, I don't know, I think I ended up paying like $175 for everything. And I think I, after I've sold like two of these items, I've actually completely paid for the costs. And now everything after this is gonna be profit. Um, but and I ended up being into this for about $9, right? Because there was two of them in this lot and I paid $18 for, for the lot. So it was $9 for each of them. And this one sold for $100. So super great little electronics flip here. Um, didn't have the AC adapter, so I did have to, to find one to plug in. I do have like a multi-plug. Um, I'll put that up there. There. <laughs> this little adapter I picked up so that I can um, test electronics, right? It does all sorts of different voltages, has different size plugs. It's been a really handy tool to have in my wheelhouse. I'll put it down in the description below as well if you guys wanna go see where I got it on Amazon. Item number 15, um, this one's kind of a weird one. Uh, again, uh, I asked Amber and she thought this one definitely was Amber's weird sale of the week. <laughs> uh, sold for $135. This was from that same estate sale that's gonna be up on Saturday that you guys haven't seen yet. I think this one was hiding up on a shelf in their closet with a couple other interesting things. And at this point in the sale, we'd already filled our bags full of stuff, you guys. That's how much stuff there was. And I was just like, I don't even care, it's brand new, it's an electronic thing, we're putting it in the bag. I was pleasantly surprised when I got home to see how much it was worth. And that's kind of why it was her weird sale of the week, is just because so much value, we didn't even really know what it was when we bought it. Just knew that it was new, electronics looked kinda cool. <laughs> uh, again, how to allocate the money I spent at the sale kind of by value. So this one ended up being $12. So great flip, $12 into 135. All right, we'll do the next two quickly because it's the, the next two are both Wii bundles. So this one is very similar to the previous one, right? I put 12 games in there. It's got a couple controllers, it's got the system, all that stuff. This one sold again for $100. Um, this one cost me $22 is what the, the total, like everything that I put into this bundle cost. So right, I told you the last one was gonna be down. And then this next one, number, number 17, again, $100. This one, I only had a cost of goods sold on it for $6. So I must've gotten a really good deal on everything that was in this bundle. But that's why it's kind of funny with the bundles of like how much they cost is like, you may have overpaid for one of them, you may have underpaid for another one. It, it, it all kind of works out in the end. Um, yeah, but $6 into 100 and $22 into 100, both of those are fantastic flips in my mind. Item 18, another Department 56. Again, this one was $8 and sold for 40. So easy, easy Department 56 flip. Uh, item number 19, this is a video game. Uh, it paid a little bit more for this bundle of games. I think it ended up being like four or five dollars each. And this one was worth $18. So it felt good about this one. There was a couple other games in the bundle that I picked up that didn't end up being worth it. So not, not the greatest pickup ever, but 
you know, $4 into $18, never going to complain about that. Item number 20, again, this is from the estate sale on Saturday. This is an Apple TV uh, fourth generation. Uh, these are pretty good sellers. I, I listed it high just because it seemed like there was a lot of action in this category. And I got a lot of low balls, you guys, probably more like $40, $50, something like that. But I was getting so many offers, I just turned off best offer on this thing and said, you know what, I'm just going to leave it at 65 And sure enough, within a couple of days of me listing it, it sold for my asking price. Um, again, since it was by, by value, I ended up spending $7 on this. <laughs> Item number 21, uh, this is a Diary of a Wimpy Kid hardcover book lot. Um, these I just try to pick up all summer long whenever I can and then try to put up some bundles during the winter especially uh, when school's in session and then when people are looking for Christmas gifts. These these things, right, they were pretty expensive, I think, brand new. Probably 10 to $15 each. Maybe you got a good deal at Costco or something like that, but still, these books are not cheap. So parents are, and, and grandparents are looking to get these books at a discount. And I can usually get them a dollar or less. I like to get them less than a dollar. A dollar is okay, right? You can see... Basically, these sold for about $3 each, a little, a little bit less than that. But $3 is basically what I keep in my mind when buying them. So a dollar's not too bad. And right, there's no moving parts in this. There's nothing I have to test. There's, usually, there's nothing I have to clean. Occasionally, you have to remove a uh, sticker, maybe, something like that. But otherwise, like this is an easy thing to do. And what I thought was really funny was we were watching Harry Tornado on YouTube the other day. And they bought a couple of books out of the bins, the Goodwill bins. And then they left all the, the Diary of Wimpy Kid books behind. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I totally would have bought those at the bins because you probably could have got them for less than a dollar each by weight, right? So it would have been a great pickup. And I just thought that was funny that he left those and he bought some other books, which did in, obviously have a little bit more value. It was uh, some Fear Street books, right? So we know those have a lot of value. And the Diary of Wimpy Kid's not as much, but kind of funny that he wasn't buying them and we're like, oh yeah, we totally would have picked them up. <laughs> into this for about less less than a dollar each i've got the nine dollars on here like i bought these all at different times so i paid different prices for each one of them but that's about what it cost me right so nine dollars into thirty dollars for books nice little book flip all right item number 22 this is the last item this week uh another department 56 this one was the best one of the week right as far as those go fifty dollars and again paid eight dollars for these things so really have had a good time with these i think there's about three of them left and that includes the one that I picked up at a Savers Thrift Store a couple weeks ago. So total sales this week, you guys, $1,321. So not, not as good as last week. Right? It was over $1,500, but a $1,300 week when my goal is $700. Fantastic week. Um, we'll see how this week does because of the, the Christmas. The, the Thanksgiving holiday last week, I didn't list as, much, as consistently every day as I normally would like to. And then you may have heard my voice <laughs> being a little bit uh, raspy and I had to pause and take a drink at some point and I've had a cold and it's been pretty bad to where it actually knocked me out of commission for a couple of days. So I actually haven't listed anything this week yet. Hopefully maybe after dinner tonight, I'll be able to get a couple things up. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it's, it's able to be done. Uh, so let's see. So I did end up listing 24 items last week, which is really nice. I've been on a nice roll of 25 every week. That's my goal is five a day. See, I just had to cut out my coughing there. That, that's how it's been bad. Um, and then 22 sales, which is, which is pretty amazing. So when all is said and done, let's see here. Um, I, I estimated about $200 in fees and my cost of goods sold last week was $224. So of the $1,321, about $449 of that's going to be just going into that. And that's going to leave us with about $900 in profit, which holy cow, what a great week. Um, and then, like I said, I, I spent time listing on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I ended up having to ship a bunch of this stuff out. But because I was sick, I actually waited until Monday to ship everything. So because of the way I do accounting, all that time shipping is going to go into this current week and doesn't go on last week's books. So I ended up only spending about nine hours working on, on reselling last week. So because of that, it's going to end up coming out to be about $99 an hour in profit, which, whew, holy cow, I think I mentioned that last week. I can't wait to do the kind of end of the year recap so you guys can really see how it all works out. Right, this time of year everything's gonna look really high, and some of the other times of year things are gonna look really low. And I think you're gonna see all of this law of averages kind of kind of work out. I may end up having one of my best years ever just because I put a bunch of effort into Q4 this year, just trying to really make it be a solid, solid good year. All right, you guys. Well, that is gonna do it for this week. 
Thank you for putting up with my cold. It has been kind of hard to get through this without coughing, without sneezing, without <laughs> blowing my nose too much. Uh, so I really appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, if you've enjoyed this content, please do smash that like button. And if you're interested in subscribing, please do so. And if not, you just want to hear and watch and see and learn, that is quite all right. I'm happy to have you guys watching. Once again, my name is Patrick, and thank you very much.